Level up your English, board games and card games for synonyms and antonyms mastery. Hey there, English language learners. Welcome back to another episode. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for weekly content aimed at boosting your English skills. Today we're diving into a really fun topic. Learning English through board games and card games. Yes, you heard it right. You can actually improve your vocabulary, especially your knowledge of synonyms and antonyms, while having a blast with friends and family. So, why games? Well, research shows that interactive learning is one of the most effective ways to absorb and retain information. Games engage multiple senses and get your brain firing on all cylinders. Plus, they're just plain fun. And let's face it, learning new vocabulary can sometimes feel like a chore. Games make it more interactive and enjoyable. Before we talk about specific games, let's look at the types of games that are beneficial for learning synonyms and antonyms. Subsection, board games. Board games are fantastic for group settings. They often involve reading, speaking, and strategic thinking, all of which are skills that can help you understand the nuances between different words. Subsection, card games. Card games are more flexible and portable. They can be played with just two people and often have quicker rounds, making them excellent for rapid-fire vocabulary building. Subsection, Scrabble. Our first recommendation is an oldie but a goodie. Scrabble. This game pushes you to think of different words that can fit on the board. Try setting a rule where you can only use synonyms or antonyms of a given word. Subsection, code names. Next, let's talk about code names. In this game, you give one word clues to help your team guess the words on the board. This makes you think deeply about synonyms as you try to link multiple words together. Subsection, taboo. Our top pick for card games is taboo. This game restricts you from using certain taboo words, forcing you to think of synonyms to get your point across. Subsection, Pictionary Card Game. Another excellent card game is the Pictionary Card Game. In this game, you have to describe a word without drawing it, making it an excellent game for learning synonyms and enhancing your descriptive skills. While games are a great way to learn, consistent practice is key. So why not create your own synonym and antonym flashcards? Every time you come across a new word while playing, jot it down and make a flashcard. This way, you'll reinforce what you've learned during the game. That's a wrap for today's episode, folks. We hope you have a ton of fun improving your English vocabulary with these board and card games. Remember, learning doesn't always have to be boring. It can be exciting and interactive. Until next time, keep playing and keep learning.